But uh, yeah, we had to. Um, if this looks a little bit makeshift and haphazard, it's because it is. Um, uh, put together this um, overlay because we're going to be running a one shot today. Uh, so um, myself, um, uh, Pemmerth, Elf, and Zach have made uh, characters which we're going to play in a short campaign with uh, DM Doomy. Who, is, who usually does near us, but today he is, yeah, he's um in he's in my domain. So, um, I suppose really we should probably start with introducing our characters to the audience. And start it up first, giving your first right next to me. Okay, I, su I suppose I shall. I should go first. Have I'm heavy a television. <laughs> uh, I am a tabaxi monk, uh, somebody who needs to learn a few social graces as a lover bagpipes, and uh, generally annoys every single person that he meets. These are not fleshed out characters by any by any means. So um, it's going to be pretty short. These guys might be. Exchanged and thrown away, so I suppose we move on to uh, Dennis of Greenest, uh, that's being played by Zach. Aha, uh -huh, I am Dennis of Greenest. I am loyal to Greenest. That is all. I mean, the, the, the man, know. man knows. And then to to Molasses. Oh, uh, hi, I, I'm, I'm Molasses. Um... Uh, I'm I'm a Triton. I I come from under the water. You you. There's not many of us up here. This this strip. This world is very strange. I'm I'm here to learn. I'm here to meet all of the exciting new things on this world, and earn my trident so I can go home. Straightforward as it comes. And uh, how about you, Tristan Southworth, played by Pama? Uh. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm Tristan, and, well, my family decided I need to be not so, uh, I think lazy, they said. I don't remember. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just with the town guard here for now. Oh. Mm. That is exactly how I thought you would play it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, I'm just like a dude, bruh. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he's uh, just a little bit... Uh, he's a bit behind, shall we say. Yes. Yeah. Actually, that is the lowest roll I've ever seen so far on stats. Five. <laughs> yeah. That is a feat into itself. <laughs> I mean, one that you should be proud of. My stats are wrong, bug, by the way. To be fair, I was doing this in quite a rush. Uh, watch. <laughs> to be honest, the, the stupid came from that roll. That was yeah. not something planned <laughs> before <laughs> the roll. <laughs> we can never plan for the rolls. <laughs> okay, so right, I can't. Uh, just a general heads up to any viewers. Uh, these are going to be quite, well, this one in particular is going to be quite short. Uh, keeping it brief because it is quite late and just to basically wet everyone's toes, get everyone kind of set in the mindset of what might be happening. It'll be a lot of fear to the mind because I don't have any real maps prepared. Uh, the one which is currently up, which might occasionally flash up, is probably not going to be used in this session, to be honest. I'm probably going to save that for the next one so there's a bit more time to actually use it. And yes, I do actually do this a cat cam. Minerva is a stand-in for Seb the Crab. Ah. Is she going to make the sounds? She's gonna go She can make some weird sounds if you like. <laughs> Alright. Well, without further ado, we shall get started. And for anyone wondering, um is tried in person as a pet crab. Yes, should have mentioned that. I have a pet crab named Seb. Okie dokie. So we shall open up. You guys are walking down a large open country road, heading back towards uh, the town of Greenhest. You have a horse and cart, which you are pulling along. The All four of you are together. One's driving the cart, the other three are walking. Uh, in the cart, there is... Uh, 
several severed heads that we kind of placed into a bag, which are effectively proof of kill of a group that you had been hunting previously. You were previously sent off on a mission before the raid on the town to basically find out what was happening with a group of cobalts. It turns out they were a distraction specifically to lure away part of the force from the town. And you fell straight for the trap. You came out alive, kicked some ass, chewed some bubblegum, ran some bubblegum, so you killed them. And now you're coming back. As you steadily make your way through the country roads, everything seems quite calm, quite quiet. As you process to approach the town, you start to notice that it looks a bit worse off than when you were last here. Does anyone react or do you simply keep moving? He's driving. Uh, uh, I'll uh, say molasses. Oh, good. The guy that's never been on the surface world before and has no idea what a horse is. Wanted the experience. Yeah. Controlling a horse. I guess I'm like all over the place with the reins then. Oh. Yep. oh. These creatures you have up here are very. Uh, <laughs> Unruly. Try Come on, Oscar. The town is. I can't sleep back here. Get them under control. Come on, Oscar. Can't you see the town's in trouble? That's someone who knows what they're doing. Ah. Church. Ah. I'm train. Ah, it looks like someone had a barbecue through here. <laughs> uh, does anyone hit to hear bagpipes? Javier wants to play bagpipes. What's a barbecue? Totally not working at the road. No one is asleep. Leave me alone. It's kind of like a. It's like food, but a. cooked more. Oh, yes, we, we cook food. What do you mean cooked more? Excellent. Like, you want to say that? Green Nest is in trouble. We have to save it. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, point into the, point I, into the town. Uh, you're right. I, I, I suppose we do have to. Safe Green Nest. You guys uh, keep travelling along. You rise over the hill that the previous campaign has started on. And you're quickly making your way down. You can see some houses have been burned from fires that were set nearby. Nothing seems to be horribly uh, destroyed. You see people going around the business as you're starting to approach. So whatever's happened, you know you've missed it. You there, citizen. What happened here? I'll just say uh, point at the name of the person. I'd say it was a guard that was near the entrance. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, guard. I didn't recognise you, you there. Sees you all approaching. He suddenly stands a bit straighter. Oh, um, uh, welcome back. Um, uh, uh, nothing. I, I wasn't. I wasn't do dozing. What? No. Come. What happened to the town? Uh, what do you mean? What happened to the town? Uh, uh, the town seems a little bit on fire. Uh, oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Um, well, there was this whole thing with um, a bunch of kobolds and people and a dragon. Sounds like we We're missed quite kobolds the party. Here. And I'm pulling out one of the heads and showing it off. Ah, oh, my God. Ah. He kind of clutches his spear to his chest uh, and stands <laughs> back a bit. Were there any casualties? What about the governor? Is he dead. okay? No need to worry about it. Can you put the head away, please? I don't, I don't want to see heads. Whatever. They're putting it back. I, I wouldn't want to see those either. Those are strange creatures. It's like a dragon, but a small little man. It's very strange. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Come on, guys, focus. I was like, see, clicking my fingers. I have to say, it sounds here, interesting. Um, uh, uh, yes, yeah, the governor's fine. Um, some, uh, well, heroes showed up and helped us to fight off the various horrid little beasts. It was quite an ep epic battle. Um, he's, uh, I will stop. I'll stop off towards the keep. Uh, 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 Bye. Okay. Um, he smiles at everyone. 
Just come, guys. We can't, don't have time to waste. Yes, of course. Uh, always oh. in such a hurry. Hey, uh, yep, get, move. Come on. Roll animal handling. First roll. Uh. <laughs> To roll it in, uh, are we are we using roll twenty today or no? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I did. There you go. I got thirteen. Hmm. Okay. The horse kind of places from side to side, but it begrudgingly starts to move at a slow pace. So Dennis this starts would, to outpace you. This would be so much easier on a dolphin. Or I don't have those up here. Wait, no, they can't breathe air. That is that I, is silly of me. Uh, I eat dolphins up here. Does does this help? Eat the dolphin? No, 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 no. They're they're faithful animals. They're companions. You don't eat them. Hmm. Strange. And an animal I don't eat. Someone mentioned food? Don't worry, Seb. I won't eat you. I won't let him. Ooh, hey, that looks tasty. Um, you guys start to make your way up through the town, and you make your way over towards the I don't know what it's called. The towery bit. Greenest keep. keep. That's the one. Yes, the Yay. one. Yay! the word. <laughs> make your way to the keep, and you can see guards are posted on the walls, but the uh, gates are open, and it all seems quite calm and relaxed as people are going about the business there. Guards on the walls kind of just give you guys a nod and recognition, but otherwise, don't really approach you. Are the gates to the keep open? Yes. It's like, stride through, I look like I own the place. Like, you there, pointing to the closest guard. Where is Night Hill? I must see him what? at once. I'm on my break. Besides, he's in a sandwich. Hmm. God. Something happened to the town, and I need to speak with Night Hill. <sighs> he slowly wraps his sandwich back up. Stands up. Just better not go to my break. I'll be back in a minute. He walks away in a huff. A few moments God, later, you know? he comes back. <laughs> Night Hill will be down in a second. Now, if you don't mind. He unwraps his sandwich and he sits down on a stump and starts eating. What's in the sandwich? Roll perception. Hey, 18. I don't what? know why it's rolled again. <laughs> there is ham, lettuce, Something that seems like mayonnaise and some cheese. Oh, find someone you've got there. He takes a bite and he kind of just looks up at you. Is that, is that seaweed? No. Is that... I can grab some. Uh, just <laughs> mm, slice a hand. I bet this is not where you thought this would have not yeah, been. Yeah, I get that fucking sandwich. You get the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even notice it at first. <laughs> Give him the sandwich, but I'll just take one piece of lettuce. Very strange. Oh, it's I, I didn't, crunchy. I, I, Tasteless. I, Why would you that, eat such a thing? What would you... I, what is this? Crunchy no, water? No finer food in the land. God, he picks up his sandwich and just storms off. What food? Are we getting food? Mine! <laughs> and with that, he disappears around the side of a building. Great fellow. <laughs> yeah, a few moments pass. Uh, you see other guards just generally stood around talking, etc. And then uh, Night Hill comes out through the doors and he uh, waves you all to come over. Governor, I just say like, Alan. Sorry, I wasn't here in Greenest in the time of need. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Is everything yeah. okay? Yes. Um, what was your name again? Dennis. Ah, ah. Uh, yes. Dennis. We went to school together. 
did we? Anyway, uh, my head's admittedly a bit baked. Uh, a lot has happened while Stu away. Did you also, also found out, as well as the town being attacked, that uh, Brandon was... Uh, was fleecing us, apparently he helped to arrange the attack. <laughs> Scum of the earth. Anyway, um, I assume that you're here about uh, the mission that I sent you on to clear out the encampment. I assume you brought uh, evidence of the deed. Ah, yes, molasses. Bring the car over here. So he, yes, he, yeah, yes, yes. He really I'll wants hop to down. I'll hop down from the car and I'll, I'll, I'll see that Dennis bowed his head and I'll just immediately bow down. I won't like get back up. I'll just stay bowed. Okay, as you bring the. Am I doing it right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Actu Good actually. Job. Yeah, I'll slowly move over with the sack and just pull another head out again. See? Okay. Uh, yeah, we brought these. Okay, Night Hill will inspect that and then he'll say, Well, I would say that this is definitely sufficient. You've done a great service for Greenest. Um, you'll be uh, compensated as per usual in your. Monthly, uh, monthly wage. Um, actually, now I think about it, wasn't there more of you here earlier? I swear I sent at least another three of you out. What happened? Brother? Ah, uh, uh, yes, uh, Harry, I ca can explain. Uh, I, I tried a new, uh, misdirection tactic. Go on. I... I stood up on a hill, and I started playing the bagpipes, and uh, the other three went around the side, and uh, suffice it to say, it didn't go so well. <laughs> and did you bring back the bodies, or? Oh no, I I I left them with the cardboard. So uh, very, uh, the ambush rigs were very hungry. As per usual, Javier. I will be docking your pay by 25%. Ah, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, Harry, I, I need not the pleasures of the flesh anyway. I shall be waiting outside. What do you mean by that? It's better, not, it's better not to question. I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure where he came from. He just kind of strolled up here one day. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, do, you, do you not have another mission to be Going to, I swear that you were going somewhere else after the encampment. Uh, I'm a little bit frazzled. Um, it's been a very eventful few days, to say the least. Um, ah, yes, actually. Uh, just uh, looking through a little bit of paperwork here. I actually had you transfer to a fellow by the name of uh, Berman Figby. He should be stored um, near the Sally Port right now. Um, might be talking to Castilian for all I know. Uh, he's, um, yeah, I know you guys don't particularly get along with him, but unfortunately, given uh, things that are going on here at the moment, I don't really have the time to deal with you and, well, more specifically, Javier's exploits anymore. So, um, go outside, see what he has for you. I'm sure you'll find something to keep you busy. Now, is there uh, anything else? I want to go there. That one is governor will be on it right away. Very good, Dennis. Good day to you. Okay, okay. And with that, uh, Governor Nighthill would turn around and he would go back inside to one of the buildings. Right, come, we have our orders. Ah, as I said, um, he's over there. Over there, Dennis. The mission right away. Uh, Tristan seems tired. Perhaps Tristan rest. always seems tired. Tristan is always tired. I'm sure that he'll be reinvigorated with more work. We have been quite. Oh, what is the word in the common? Hang on. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, lethargic. That's how you say it, I think. With that, uh, you see a spindly figure starting to approach you. 
looks a little bit old. He's quite... It's a human, but you would say he kind of looks crow-like in appearance. He kind of hunches forward a little bit. It's a bit of a sharp nose. So it's like, imagine Mr. Burns, but not quite so dead. <laughs> Excellent. Mr. Burns dead? I haven't watched yeah. Simpsons in a while. Is he dead now? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, no, he, he, he probably comes over. Forever. He kind of looks over all of you. Oh, welcome back. Oh, yes, it's been a while since I've seen you all. How, uh, how are you all doing? Yes. Ready to serve the town? Uh, y- People yes, People talking yes. about food. I want oh, food. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, here. He holds out a hand to you. Oh, more yes. surface well, food. Was Pema specifically? Mm. Very curious. Thanks. He drops a single berry into your hand. What's that? That's not oh. food. It's a good berry. Yeah. Oh, a day. Have you as most curious? Could I have good berry? Mm. Oh, I'll go on then. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I I recognise such a berry. Whatever. I have food anyway, and I'll hand mine over. Single bite will fill the stomach of a grown man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've always had a good berry a day. He kind of pats his stomach. It's kind of a bit bulgy, despite his otherwise spindly shape. Always nice to have a good, good berry. He pops one into his mouth and chews slowly. Oh. How did your mission go? Doing the same as before, just pulling a head out of that bag. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, I have another little mini mission for you. Now, it seems there's been some um, trouble in your absences. I don't know if you have noticed the state of the town. Yes. And we've heard here right away as soon as we heard. Well, it seems the group that did this are re-meeting back up, though the instructions were to be distributed quite soon. I would like you to uh, intercept the people that were meant to redistribute this instruction. Where will they be, and what do they look like? I can't be certain for what they look like. I wasn't here for most of the uh, little... In mini invasion, I was hiding in a barrel. But um, if you will go to the uh, wine barrel, actually, it was a fish barrel. I've only just gotten rid of the stank. No, you haven't. I say like often a bit. Why I wasn't going to say anything. A fish but... barrel. And there's wine. You have to be quick with fish. They they rot. Faster, especially on the surface, I've noticed. It, it wasn't my fish. It was just a barrel that was available at the time. Anyway, if you go to the uh, nearby lumber mill, if you head out to the east about, uh, about a quarter of a mile, there was a, a specific drop-off point. I have it on a map. I'll, uh, he hands over a little scroll but map. Uh, the handoff point was about the. It yeah. also detailed two separate groups: the people that were retrieving, and then they would return to a main group to head off. Uh, if you could dispatch them all, uh, that would be excellent, most excellent. <laughs> oh, now if you don't mind, I believe I have a fish dinner with my name on it. So, well, he turns around and starts to. You want off. more heads? I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bonus for every head you bring back. Make sure they were not nice people. No children this time. It, it, off that, he goes. That was, that was a mistake one time, Javi. I was cobalt. confused. Oh, Javi, you're still here. I thought you were waiting outside. Javi, I needs to be where he needs to be. And these oh, are so tiny orders. anyway. These are kobolds. I don't know how to tell kobold children. Do they even have children? 
I don't know. I imagine so. Uh, I've not read much about these dragon dwarves. Uh, perhaps we could uh, walk and talk. Yes, that would be best. What? Onward. No more wagon? Uh, they would hear the wagon come in. Surely they would scurry if we approached in it. Ah, have you has idea? Ah, uh, excuse me, guard person. Hey, yes, yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir, guard person. Do you happen to have any horses? Yes, we have many horses. Good. Could I eat? I mean, ride one. I am. Um, uh, mm, mm, mm. I am, um, sir. It is not proper procedure to eat the horses. No, 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 no. Ride the horses. Ride the horses. I do not know what you mean by this, sir. Uh, this man is fool. Can someone translate? He would like to get on the horse and go somewhere with the horse. He looks back at him. You cannot go somewhere with the horse and then eat it. Hmm. I assure you, he won't eat the horse. You drive hard bargain for heavier. You promise not to eat the horse, sir. I suppose I do not eat horse this time. Thank you, sir. Uh, have your good horse. Let's go. How many horse would you like? Uh, a, a, enough for a first to move with. Two horses it is. Ah. Huh. And with that, he goes around to the stable section and brings back two horses. What would I have to do with this horse, sir? Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm such... gesturing towards the one that's pulling the cart. Ah, ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, you probably don't want to uh, to upset that one for some time. It he got a little bit uh, nervous. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. He looks at the horse. The horse gives a grim back. Hmm. It's funny, horse. Watch that one. I feel like he's looking at me, sir. I don't like it, sir. But he takes the uh, older horse away and leads it towards the stables, keeping a wary eye on it as it moves. He notices that the eyes of the horse never leave him. <laughs> I lied. I trained horse. Horse too good. And you guys now have uh, two horses to pair up with, and I think we'll probably end this off here. Are you ready to go on your little quest? Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, we're back, everybody. Woo. Um, Doom, would you mind recapping that again for the audience? Uh, I'll probably have to just say I that. Can't remember everything I said now. Okay, then. Fair enough. So, you guys came back to town after being sent on a distraction quest. You come back, an attack has been underway. It's all over. Some heroes saved the day. And you guys are now just kind of looked down on. You are the fuck ups. Um, you have been sent out on a quest by your new handler to go to retreat, go to deal with some cultists who are expecting a delivery near the lumber mill. Um, deal with them how you see fit, and you're currently traveling down through the forest towards that area. You're about twenty minutes ride out at a steady pace. Okay. Uh, what time of day is it? Yeah, it's going to be quite early in day. No more than noon. Um, did we decide who was actually driving the carriage and stuff? I don't remember if we mentioned that last time or not. I think last time it was me. Yeah, it was you, yes. The guy who's probably never seen a horse before in his life. I'm lying in the back, half asleep. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll be up front then, again, sure, why not? Got away with animals. Um, Javier will be sat beside you, I think. So, are you just simply continuing forward then? Um, yeah, I'd probably say that we wouldn't necessarily be saying anything on our way. Okay, dokie then. As you steadily continue further and further forward through the forest, you can hear the birds in the trees playing our little bird calls. You see the occasional rabbits dart by, and at one point you can see a deer it kind of just looks at you, tilts its head, and then runs off. You're now about 10 minutes ride away from the location. Do you continue on? Mm-hmm. 
Unless anyone has subjections. There are many fascinating creatures on the surface. Yes, Javier. Javier's stomach is growling. Oh, do you mean... Uh, yes, they're very pretty. Oh, do you, do you eat these things? Yes, I eat everything. Oh, interesting. We, we mainly eat fish down in the depths. We don't, we don't really have these... Uh, Pull out a notebook. Not just like go the reins entirely and pull out a notebook. Um, <laughs> Squire realm. Am I saying okay, it right? Animal handling check or a disadvantage. <laughs> Still okay. Yep. Yeah, you will be all right with that. Okay. His horses suddenly start to veer off to the side of the road, and you quickly manage to just grab, kind of grab for the reins and just pull them back. Oh. Back oh. My apologies, my apologies. I'm not used to this. <laughs> ah, and happy. The horse just kind of looks back over towards you, gives you a stink eye and looks back. He keeps going forward. Ah, you're doing okay back there, Tristan. We didn't disturb your sleep. Is it is it normal for surface folk to sleep so much? You are very lethargic. Uh, Tristan... Uh, uh, no, not not yet. I don't believe so, anyway. Oh, okay. No, I'm fine. Uh, so, how, uh, how much farther is it, molasses? Uh, five minutes. I, hmm. I guess, uh, I don't really know how to read a map. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, well, you got us this far. Minutes, I think. Ah, sounds good enough to have you. All intelligence. Which one of us? <laughs> uh, specifically Triton. The Triton? The Triton, yes. Okay, fair enough. You can kind of deduce about where you need to go now from the map. Just about. And you are getting very, very close to the location now. You are literally um, a couple of minutes walk. You continue on? All the way. Yeah. Why is why is the Saturn actually looking like around us as we're coming upon our destination? It is quite a wooded area. You're currently following down a dirt road towards where you need to be. Can have you a look over the side to see if there's any signs of life or tracks of any description? Yeah, sure. Roll survival. Okay. Oh, it would also help if I was on my character. Might have been better, but eh, survival. Sorry. Uh, it's probably because I did that quite a lot the other night. <laughs> One moment, survival. There we go. As you look around, you can see some rabbit footprints. I see. I see little mugs in the ground. What do you suppose that is, molasses? Uh, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Uh. The, mm, the animals where I'm from don't really leave marks on the ground. Hmm. I'll pull out a pull out a sketchbook. Hmm. Uh, a, mm, a, a rabbit, perhaps. Hmm. How very interesting. Oh, you probably want to keep your eyes on the road. Uh, yes. Yes. Based on the map, you have arrived at the destination for the drop-off. Uh, you guys pull into, it seems to be a bit more of a sparsely populated area. Right on to the bottom left of the map is where your characters currently are. I'm going to reveal a bit more of it. Uh, there are a few trees or bushes dotted around, and it's fairly quiet. Um, yeah. Yes. I'm seeing a completely white map. I shall fix that. I've got the wrong one. Seeing a com oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Now there's something. Hey. There you go. <laughs> Just like that, there is light. As you're looking around, you don't really see all too much, but you do hear a little bit of uh, rustling, I'll say. So, what do you guys do? Javier will be... When you say here, rustling, coming from any particular direction? 
You would guess it seems to be coming from about the north-ish. Okay, I think Javier is going to say, hmm, there seems to be some activity up, uh, up this way. Perhaps we should go and pay them a visit? Oh, yes, yes. I wonder what exciting creatures there are. Oh, and they coming over here? Do we have to go? Uh, yes, yes. I think this is, this is the time where we actually need to do something. Yeah. So, uh, Javier is just going to start moving towards this direction. As you start to move up, you start to hear voices. Um, they seem to be... Well, they sound male. They're quite gruff. You just hear kind of murmurings. If you had to guess, they are quite close. Sounds like there's a party nearby. Oh, oh! I do like parties. Uh, no, not that kind of party. Probably death party. Oh, probably. What uh, have you? It, it's... We we do have those too. Uh, we often have combats, uh, uh, competitions of strength. Uh, uh no. That kind of party? No, 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 no. Uh, you, you remember last time with the bagpipes and the guys, um, sneaking around the side and how uh, the old died. Oh, that kind of party. Who's over there? Oh, okay. Oh, oh I... no! Don't mind us, friends. We're just having a conversation. You see, a person in robes come out from behind a tree. He starts to approach you all. Yeah, w w you got the stuff. Hmm. Aren't you a bit hot in that robe? You should wear less for. You should wear less clothing, like have you? Uh, that's what I keep saying to them, but they don't listen to me. Don't uh, say plugs is all we need, but no, they don't listen. Ah, I, I. It seems that you and me of like might. Ah, so you are a fellow thinker. Ah. Are you also with the cult? Ah, uh, I am a cult of personality, so I've been told. <laughs> ah, I, I see. Um, are you are you a are you a jester for the horde? I I've been called that before. Uh, I think we might be talking at cross purposes. Uh, what do you want here? Oh, um, well, if you're here, you must be the ones <sighs> delivering the um, you know, the instructions. Oh. Ah, uh, I, I see. Uh, have one moment. Uh, Javier uh, just needs to have a conversation with his uh, compatriots here. Uh, just uh, give us a minute. Uh, we probably left him in the cart. As he, oh. say, as he gestures to my compatriots, I'll wave. He kind of smiles and gives you a little wave back. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'll just... Um, be... I, right yes, yes, you'll just wait there for, for just a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, so um, Javier's going to go over here. And he's kind of beckoning you guys hey, to follow. Well, didn't we just get here or go back? I I shall explain in a minute, Tristan. Uh, just uh, come over here first. Uh, you too, fishy boy. Oh, oh, of course. He just stands by the rocks. He's just kind of like... He's just kind of like playing... Pockets. He's not just looking around. <laughs> sort of... Javier just whispers to the O2, uh, yes, I think uh, Javier made an error. Uh, there's probably the guy we need to kill. Or at least one of them. Well, no. uh, as you recall back from the quest, there were said okay. to be two groups, a pickup and a main group. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm, I don't like the fighting uh taking don't... my short sword out a little i don't oh, think of it as fighting oh. just think of it as uh punching people repeatedly until they no longer breathe and you still do i'll uh i'll unlimber my spear and do i have a shield uh actually it just occurs to me yeah. did we bring anything that we could use as a distraction 
like any false papers. Uh, actually, Javier may answer Javier's own question. I'm just going to check the cat. Uh, Javier goes back to the horses. Was there anything in the doom that we like any papers or there stuff is that we could? There's a couple of bags of grain. There is some random, but random bottle of firewood, a tinder kit. Um, there's a bit of parchment, Ooh. and there is a, a pen and quill, a pen and ink. Sorry. Javier whoops his hands together and goes, Oh, this shall do it nicely. <laughs> Javier is genius. So Javier picks what up. What are you going to do? Javier picks up uh, just all of the parchment and puts it into the kind of like. How much parchment is there, roughly? I'll say four sheets. Four, it's just four sheets of parchment. And how big is the sack? How much is in it? Of uh, the feed. Of the feed, yeah. Um... I'd say from about fingertip to elbow. Okay. And it's uh, kind of in its green. So. so, Javier will take the four sheets of paper in in his hand, and he'll have... How heavy is a bag of grain? Is it something that you'd have to use both hands, or just one hand? I could use one arm and strain. Um, yeah, I think Javier's Maybe. probably good. Javier will do that. And... So uh, Javier is just going to go by the other two and just goes, uh, Javier has cunning plan. Uh, you go around to this side. Javier will do what Javier does. Any questions? You're not going to play Which bagpipes side? again, are you? No, 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 no. no. I'm going You're to a very annoying instrument. Uh, yes. Oh, Twiston, uh, were you going to say something? Which side? Oh, oh, yes, uh, around uh, this way. Okay. Uh, actually, do Javier a favor. If you, if Javier's about to die, let Javier know. Javier just, Javier would like to know these things. How should I know if you're about to die? It's a deep existential question, actually. I, I, I have that, then. some small skill with magics. I can I can help if you're about to die. Oh yes, yes, that's good. That's very good. Oh, actually, our, our friend is probably curious as to where we've gone. I should probably go and see him. I just stand out to look towards him. He's just kind of looking off at a tree at a, at a bird, and he's just kind of fixated on it. Okay. Um. Actually, Javier is just going to position himself behind the guy. Is he looking this way? He is, yes. He's looking towards this direction. Javier deliberately goes about it, sort of just uh, slaps her shot, his hand on his shoulder and just goes, Ah, meeting person! Yeah. I got this stuff! I, um, uh, oh, thanks. This is stuff you asked for, yes. I have pa I have papers and I have more papers. Oh, um, that's excellent. Um, Pamela, is your character's name Tristan? Can't recall. It is Tristan, I believe. Right. Yes. Uh, roll a perception check. You don't think Tristan can perceive anything, do you? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you, you were really right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... I mean, if he was perceiving it, he'd be too stupid to understand what he is perceiving. So, mm -hmm. not bad. This is true. You just got sleep in your eyes. You kind of got a layer of film over your eyes, effectively. So, um, he held out his hands for the good acts of it. Um, yes. Um, uh, no, no need to check them. Um, everything is as, as it should be. You can trust Javier. Javier is a good businessman. Uh, do you put it down into his arms? Yeah. What exactly do you put down? Uh, what do I put down? Um... I kind of hand him the so have your hands in the papers first, and then he takes the sack by both hands, and then kind of lumps it into his arms, basically trying to get the guy to stumble back for a few moments, just to create appropriate enough distraction for the other two to pass if they're currently behind me because I can't obviously see them right now. Okay, um, you do so, and he kind of stumbles back and kind of uh, he smiles, and then he kind of frowns a little bit. Ah, uh, um. He moves the sack around a little bit. Uh, this doesn't feel like paper. Um, what you're talking about, of course, is paper. Have you said it's paper? So it is paper. 
kind of leans onto one arm, then squeezes the bag. This feels like... Is this wheat? No, it's paper. Very good. Are you having me on here? I have you on what, exactly? He pokes the bag. This doesn't feel like paper. It's it's water deep paper. It's a new recipe. Deception. Deception. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, fair enough. I can't blame you for that. He frowns at you and he's not completely taken you on that. Uh, listen, uh, I have here as confession. Times have been tough. Need I could I couldn't get much regular paper, so I had to go and get the water water deep paper. Uh by my shop burned down, I lost all of my seedings. Uh Javier got mugged on the road. Ha Javier has not had a really hard time. Sort of you sort of you me thinking people of the world just gets cast down and forgotten about. Am I am I right, my friend? Uh uh. So I'm gonna go over here now. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, actually, if you do have your this favor, uh, are you with anyone right now? I'd like to meet your friends. He arches an eyebrow at that. Thanks, but I'm not particularly into guys. So but he starts to walk away. But have you have cake? Probably. He glances back over his shoulder, briefly, and walks away. Well, have you tried everything have you could do? Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, maybe I should have followed. Ah, uh, have you? Uh, he's kind of thinking eternally now. Uh, have you should follow him? Yes. Um, have you is going to wait for roughly about 30 seconds until this guy kind of goes out of sight, and then he's going to try and follow him surreptitiously. Okay, uh, what about you? Which direction did he go in? Do is it this uh, way? Straight up north. Straight up north. Um, Javier will probably kind of like go round the right side so he isn't directly behind him. I assume that there's more trees up ahead, probably. Uh, there are a handful of trees scattered about. Yeah. Yeah, I think Javier's going to try and stick to the trees and try to just observe why where these guys go. Uh, briefly glancing behind him to see where. Tristan and Molasses are, and motioning them up ahead if he can see that they're not about to be spotted. That's basically what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, move your character the way you are going, then. Uh, so he's going to go up towards this direction. Hey, as you start to move up, roll Deception. Deception. Uh, me, specifically? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, as you're starting to roll, move up. Um, you briefly glance at the tree beside you, and then you notice a boot. And you look up a bit more, and you see two people in the tree, both in the same robe, looking down at you. Um, actually looking down at me? Yep. Okay, uh, Javier's just got to go. Ha! A yeah, nice day, isn't it? I'd imagine it's uh, got the cool summer breeze in the tree. Uh, they're both humans. They both uh, just jump down from the tree. One lands right in front of the Ah. And the other one will just land a little bit to the side. Yeah, what are you doing following our lad? Uh, I was just thinking I work for the woods. I was. I wanted to offer him more cake. He... He declined my offer. I wanted to try and extend the hand of friendship. Offer a cake. Yes. Rule thirty-seven: always decline the cake. But but why? Do you know what to be happy as friends? Is unholy and does not contribute to the horde, to the great horde. I'll, I'll lean over to Tristan. Of course. Cake. Good. Good cake. Oh. Why would you refuse it? So stupid? Oh. Ah. 
One of them looks at you when he says that and arches an eyebrow. Ha. I see it that... All our teachings is stupid. Refusing cake is stupid. Cake is good. Why refuse it? He seems to go a little bit red in the face at that. Ah, you, you see, twist and talk sense. Why would you refuse the cake? If you do not respect our wishes, turn around and walk away. Hmm. You make a reasonable argument, friend. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, you twist. You say it's this, you say it's rule. Ooh. Tristan. One in the same. Tristan makes a good point. One you have to follow, one you might dearly should follow, but don't, don't actually follow it because it's stupid rule. You hear it um, shouting from backwards, and then you see uh, the other cultist that you've just been talking to run into frame. Hey, that was green. It's worth the paper. I keep telling you people. Why does no one understand has, good business? He has a handful of it that he just kind of opens his hand and it just blows away. Okay, it might have decomposed on the journey. What the hell are you? Get, get, get. I, I, I can't, I don't rightly know. Um, this, I, uh, my friends, I feel like the time for diplomacy has failed and now, and uh, I have to die. Uh, many apologies. What? Uh, Javier's, yeah, Javier's going to attack. You get an attack, surprise. Only one. Um, uh, I don't mind, you when can do it if you want. die at that moment, just. If you want to. Strike that the guy in front of me. Yeah, I'll add Trist to do the attack. Roll your attack up. Okay, that'll definitely hit. As you swing in at the first one, um, you see two other people drop down from a tree beside you. Oh. They come running over and do your damage to your first boy. Seven damage. Okay. You hit him square in the nose, completely unexpecting it. And blood sprays from his nose and he staggers back. And he's barely hanging in there. Okay, so everyone roll initiative. Ooh, got a tie. Um, which one of you two has their higher decks? That would be the monk. <laughs> making sure, making sure. He has plus four, I've got a plus one. <laughs> Uh, Wrong pen that was out to me. Oh, wow, I just realized how bad Tristan was there. <laughs> Tristan just kind of punched the guy to go, ah, what are we doing? Shaking out my hand, I'm too busy. It's like, oh yeah, I'm fine. I have hands. It's like, dude, I have hands. Down a wee bit. Okay, okay. And combat has begun. There's not that and up in my hand. Xavier? Okay, uh, combat. Ah, Javier get to do death now. Okay, uh, Javier is going to. Uh, do a couple of unarmed strikes. This is action bonus action. So uh, first attack to the one in front of him. Roll your damage. Wow, max damage. <laughs> Ooh, nice opening hits. Okay, and, and then, then you punch him straight in the face, and he goes down. You're going to get advantage on the next attack. <laughs> so you can look up at you, and part of his cheekbone's broken. <laughs> okay, uh, Javier will attack again. Advantage. Okay. Actually, the 10 does hit. Yeah, I guess. I'm pretty sure these guys. As you swing down, um, he looks at you. Respect the teacher. And he's out. Nobody refuses the cake. We did. Okay, it's that's guys. Said. Okay, so uh, yeah, Javier is going to just. Uh, 
step forward to to this guy and he just gives him a look and just says hello and as his turn okay just gonna scroll that one out so he doesn't even get a turn but it's now over to the one that got punched in the face he is going to he's gonna cast sacred flame against tristan uh, do, 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 do. Needs to be a dex save, and that will be a 12. Sorry, was that a dex save for uh, myself? I apologize. No, for Tristan. Ah, and that definitely passes. Okay, so it oh, pulls up hand. A little bit of flame comes out of his hand, and. He just kind of veers to the side, just really disoriented from the punch, and just goes off in the air. It's now going to be Molasses. Okay. Um, the guys over on the left, are they? did they jump down out of the tree? They did, yes. Okay. Uh, I want to cast Entangle over there. Okie dokie. Um, what save is it? Or is it just simply a Strength, uh, my DC is 13. Okie dokie, let me just check the stats. Grab them both. I'll flavour it as the tree branch is coming to life and grabbing them. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, as I can tell, they don't have any modifiers, so just straight 20 rolls. Oh. Alright, so the one at the front just manages to break free as the vines from the tree suddenly try to grab at him, but the other one isn't so lucky. And immediately gets stuck straight to the tree. Phew. You two stay, stay there. I'm warning you. Hey, it's, what the fuck are you doing to the trees? I'll end my turn. I've got nothing else I can do. Okay, okay. That's now going to be number two, which is the one that's also by Tristan and also by Xavier. He is going to look back and forth, and he is going to just try and hit with his club. These have really, really crappy weapons. Does that hit Xavier? It does not, no. Okie dokie, and that's the end of its turn. That's now going to be number four, which is the once entangled. Is it on his turn he has to save at the end of it again? It just says that I... Use its action, okay. Yeah. Okay, he attempts to pull out of the vines and manages to part his shoulder instead. And he's stuck. <laughs> he's... So, that's now the last one. The one that did manage to get free. He's just going to run over here. She exactly how far can he run? The ground is difficult terrain. Even that's if we go point. out. That case, how far is difficult? It's 20. Uh, so I've got square. I just draw your square for me, so I know exactly how much is terrain. Difficult terrain, sorry. Uh, Mr. Molasses. Thank you. Sorry, I was, uh, sorry, I was calling there. Is okay. that 20 foot? Uh, that'd be 10 foot. 20 foot square, square. One second. Oh, my bad. That's actually really quite a large area that that covers. <laughs> I'm off screen with it. You can do it, I believe in you. I think that I can't tell which is the grid. Yeah, which yeah, lines are which. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's good enough. Okay, so get into the that's basically gonna be his entire movement. He's going to run all the way to there. He's gonna use his action, he's going to shout. We need help! And with that he's going to raise a hand at 
He's going to go for... Is it Xavier? Uh, Javier. Javier, Javier yes. Keep going Xavier for some reason. I'm not sure and why. make a dex save. <laughs> okay. Twelve. Okay. He tries to shoot the sacred flames at you. They spring from his hand and they simply just go too high. He's clearly panicking. And that's the end of his turn, and now it's Tristan's turn. Wounds punching worked so well, going for that again. Same thing. Good again. Punch away. Okay, I won't even bother having you roll damage. You simply knock this guy in front of you straight out. He's down for the count. What do you do next? It wasn't working before, that's why I wanted to make sure it's working now. Alright. Run up to the next guy. Go up to which one? Okay, and uh, move your character where you're moving. The guy that you pass is going to take an opportunity attack against you. Why am I passing anyone? You pass him. The guy I'm He's passing even five foot is... to you. Oh, okay. Hey, he misses anyway, that's a big whiff. Yeah, it's 17. He needs to pass. That's a big whiff, yep. <laughs> uh, do you anything else? I don't believe I can, I'm not sure. You can second. because you're a monk. Means I can punch again with that guy? Yes, you can, as a bonus action, you can make an offhand strike. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seeing it now. Bonus action on arm strike. Yeah, um. I believe I'm actually gonna do that. Just that. Hit the next okay. guy. Uh, you or swing not. to attack him, and you swing a bit too far. You're a bit too energetic when you're moving, and you're going to fall down in the rough terrain right there. Uh, how much movement do you have left? Um, I you move 15, 15 foot. foot. It's half movement to get up, so you can use the remaining movement to get up if you want. My walking speed is 40, so yeah, I should be yep. able to get That's it. That's fine. So you got 10 movement left. Uh, you could use that to leave the terrain if you wanted. Yeah, Sorry, wrong mouse. I would like to move back to the position I was standing in in front of him. Yep, go ahead. That's your last turn point. And I give you end your turn though. Yes, yeah. technical difficulties, sorry. Yeah, right. It's okay. And now that's uh, Xavier. Uh, do that again. <laughs> it's okay. Javier will keep coveting the float he had in the sky. Ah, I should probably punch you. I'm going to do uh, two punches to this guy front again. Odds. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, hey. Double push, double push, double push. Your first one hits. Uh, sorry, I, I cannot uh, acquiesce to your request. You punch him, you're right in the face, straight on the nose. He gets back. No, oh, please, 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 please. For the great heart, for the great heart, for the great heart. He hits again. Roll damage. And you, well, knock him straight out again. He goes straight over the body of the other one and completely collapses over here. Ooh. Don't know my own step. Uh, Twister, now she'll come and help you. Um, with that, Javier is going to move over to be alongside Tristan. Good of you. Okay, and uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Or Javier's turn, I should say. Molasses, it's now your turn. Okay. If I move through uh, my own entangle, is it still difficult terrain for me? It would specify if it is not. 
Just go back. That's... I believe it's difficult for anyone who starts the turn. Yeah, it, I can't say anything here about it not affecting the caster. Yeah, it's considered difficult terrain. Still. Suppose you could stop concentrating on it. Guess I'll move to there, that's 25 feet, and kind of use my last 5 feet to go there. Okie dokie. It's conjuration, I'm not sure that's concentration. Uh, entangle it's... is concentration. Okay. I'm gonna bat him with my spear. Right. He's you got advantage because you're currently completely stuck to the tree. Cool. Nine and an eight. Hey, he's just kind of trying to wiggle against the tree, and is wiggling. Just goes in perfectly to avoid the spear as you try and poke him. Oh, I'm. I'm not used to swinging in air. Hold still! <laughs> One of the vines is completely covering his mouth. He's just kind of looking down at you, frowning. <laughs> I'll end my turn. Yeah, then. He's going to try and make his shrimp save to get out. He does not get out still. Okay, the other one now quite surrounded. He's going to again use action to shout. We need help! Get over here! And then he is going to. What is his options? He's really not got good options in this. Which nothing he does is going to save him. He is going to again cast Sacred Flame and he's going to do it against Javier. Okay. Uh, well, my deck save. Yeah. Okay, hey, you make that. And then he's going to touch his chest and he's going to cast Sanctuary on himself. But it says a creature, so he can do it on himself. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty Any sure. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target to lose the attack or spell. The spell doesn't protect the warded creature from area effects, such as explosions or fireball. And if the warded creature makes an attack, casts a spell that affects an enemy or deals damage to another creature, it ends. So he just kind of looks at you all and just goes... Leave me alone! And he'll end his turn. Tristan? Certainly Tristan is the brightest, um, so he has no clue what's going on, and he's gonna do Hey, um, you make your wisdom save if you're making an attack. Gonna beat the DC 12. <laughs> nice. Alright, you got no problem with that. Yep, that hits. Both have the same modifier, so is it okay? Or do you want me to do damage for the sword? It I do matter. damage for the sword. It's the same meter. Might be. It's still. <laughs> Do -do. You swing in with your sword and you catch him right in the side and then pull it back. And following that up was a punch. Do -do. I said punch, I just clicked the wrong thing because I didn't realize it. Oh, fair enough. Sorry. But uh, it's the same modifiers on it anyway, so it's just. You'll clever. still need to make a check again for the attack. Okay. It doesn't say that it's only a once thing. Right, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, your saves are doing really well. Right, right. 
you'll kill him. All right, so you swing him with your fist and you knock his head straight against the tree and he collapses to the ground on the floor. Maximum damage. Okie dokie. That's round to the, uh, Javier. <laughs> um, can, I'm guessing that Javier would have heard this guy's cries for help, by the way. You're literally right in front of him, so yeah. But... Can I use interaction to see if there's anyone else coming? Yeah, go ahead. Use perception. Roll perception, sorry. I'm also going to expand the area you can see. Uh, 13. Uh, 13, you don't see anything particularly near. Okay. Um, I think Javier is probably going to help deal with this last guy. So his movement is 40, so we should be able to get next to this guy. Okay, okay. And you will have an advantage on the attack because he's still restrained. And uh, yeah, Javier is just going to go for two more punches. Okay, you bring in the first punch. That's like the third time they've roved. <laughs> <laughs> um, you catch him on the calf and he kind of winces at that. Actually, that was going to be an advantage style, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, matter. So Let's. Uh, can I just roll my second attack then, or should I just roll again? Roll your second attack now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, you can roll your damage for your last one. Okay. Your last punch, you punch him straight in the stomach, and he just kind of bends forward, and then he's gone. Okay. Um, as combat and uh, Javier is going to say to Molasses, uh, the thing they're going to be bringing friends. We should probably make ourselves a scarce for the moment, and uh, probably just go. Probably just go over here. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll go to walk off and trip over a branch. I'm like, oh right, uh, and I'll drop the spell. Okay, so Javier's so going. Drops the vines, reconnects into the ground. Javier's okay. just going to try and hide behind this tree. Yeah, so you guys are waiting there and hiding. Yeah, Javier ain't that smart. <laughs> okay, okay. So a couple of minutes pass and you start to hear rustling and murmurings. Actually, while we're waiting there, can I look at the guy? That's in front of me, under the tree. The last one, we killed. Oh uh, yeah, you can. He's looking what he has on. Oh, he's yeah, wearing... kind of looting him, basically. What he has he... on him. Not he's on wearing him. Uh, what seems to be a bit scruffy leather armor underneath a cloak, and he has a small club attached to his belt, a little component pouch, and another little pouch on his belt. I'll take the component pouch. Okie dokie. I'm assuming that one's the prettier one. Yes, it is. Yes, I'll take the pretty one. <laughs> we take the pretty little pouch we can pull it in. Ooh, got to love the spoils of war. As you guys are sat there, you hear murmurings and rustlings starting to approach you from the east. Uh, you see two acolytes most leading forward, keeping their eyes sharp, and you see three dragon claws with a four riding on top of an ambush drake. The drake is sniffing around as it's moving. It seems to be heavy, relatively heavy armoured, which isn't normal for ambush drakes. They're normally just simply left as they are. Oh, what is that? Uh, Javier is going to go around here, I think. Uh, you two probably should go a different way. Try to spread them out a bit. With that, uh... the air briefly. And the ambush break, Drake starts stiffing the air. Do I make your movements? That's where you're going to go. I'll tell you what rolls to make. So Javier is going to try and move to here. Uh, make stealth with advantage, given the trees cover that space quite nicely. You managed to make it there without them noticing you. Okay. Uh, did the other two do anything? Staying in place there. Just I'll stay here. Kind of behind the tree, behind the small tree. I guess under the big, behind the small. The way it looks. 
Uh, one of the acolytes spots the bodies in the distance. He points over to the one that's riding the ambush drake. Uh, the one riding the ambush drake pulls a crossbow off his back and loads a bolt into it. And then gestures his head. And one of the acolytes starts to move over towards uh, the scene of the bodies. As he gets close, he's, he simply peers at the ones that are down the trees to the south. Does anybody act? Running up behind him, punching him. Alright, make an attack with advantage. I consider this a surprise round. Everyone wants to act. Okay, I think if Javier would place this within his line of sight. Um. I think Javier's going to kind of like run between these two where you'll allow that, Doom. Yeah, as I say, it's a surprise round, so you get a full range of action. Okay, so the yeah, that'll be 44. Okay, so I'll let Tristan go first. Hit? Yes, it definitely hits. The 10 would have hit. <laughs> okay, and giving us a surprise round, you'll also get your bonus action. Alright, again. Punch. Yep. Okay, so you run straight behind this guy, you give him a double punch to the back of the head, and he is out. <clears throat> and Javier, what are you doing? Okay, uh, so I want Javier wants to do flurry of blows, so I believe that affects. Um, what is flurry of blows? Is that three strikes? Uh, you, you main strike and you get two strikes as a bonus action. Yeah. So, cause would it be possible to hit the Acolyte, the, the Ambush Drake, and the Dragon Claw? I'm not quite sure how high the Dragon Claw up, is up off the ground on that Ambush Drake. Um, decisions, decisions. I'd say you'd have disadvantage against the Rider. Okay, I think what Javier would do is add two strikes on the Ambush Drake and one strike on the Acolyte. Okay. So, going to. Let's do for the ambush drink. Yep. Uh, is this going to be with advantage because it's surprise, or? I'll let you have your first strike with advantage. That's fair. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah. So that was under Drake, wasn't it? Yes. So I do get two more attacks, but just no one just burn that key point. Uh. Do, 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 do. Actually, should I hit hope flowy of blows so I am still getting used to this? I don't think it makes any difference. It's the same damage, isn't it? It's just because it specifies yeah. itself as a bonus action. Yeah, sorry. Uh, 26 will hit the Drake. Yes, it will definitely. So, okay, so that'll deal. Indeed, nine. yes. That'll be 9 damage. You hit straight into the fire of the dragon. Red right. Drake, sorry. Um, also, when I do that, I want to do open my open hand technique, because whenever I hit with one of my flurry of blow attacks, I can impose one of the following effects on the target. So I'm going to try and make it go prone. It needs to be a dex of 12. Okie dokie. Doop doop. Let me have a double check on its dex. Plus two. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, so, second Flurry of Bows attack on the Acolyte. Yep, we hit. 20. Okay, yeah. You get a solid backhand strike against the Acolyte, and you kind of just slap him across the face, basically. Okay. He stumbles back, and now it's Molasses' turn. Will she add anything more? I will
Okay, I'm gonna move 30 feet. Okay. In that spot. To there. And uh, I wanna cast Misty Step to move the rest of the 30 feet to get behind Javier. And then, uh, you can cast two spells in a turn if one's a cantrip, right? Uh, yes. Because so, Misty Step was a bonus action. Yeah, I want to cast Resistance on Javier. Okay, what does that do exactly? Okay. This is the one type of damage, I believe. I should have a Saving throw, sorry, I was thinking of the wrong thing. Thinking of Blade Ward. Okay. So it's basically like guidance. I'm here to help. Ah. Avi appreciates this. Okay, now everyone roll initiative. Surprise round is over. And Tristan. Appropriately slow in the uptake. He just did his job. Like, he killed a guy. He did. So you get to go first. Okay. Uh, this guy in front of me, he's he's not knocked out, right? That was the other one. Interesting guy. Uh, well, none of them are knocked out. Okay. The one that's knocked I'll, out is dead. I'll stab him. <laughs> okay, okay. Stab away. Get yeah, that hits. Yeah. Alright, she me using two hand. Ooh, damage. I got my shield out. All right, then. The two damage, you just nick him right in the shoulder. And he frowns at you, looking quite hurt by that. Hey, why do you want to hurt the cults? You are, you are e evil. What? I will My mom says I'm not. I'm oh, not. I'll, uh, end my turn. Okie dokie. That's now going to be the Amber Strike. I'm treating the Amber Strike and the Rider as a single unit. Okay. So the Amber Strike is going to turn and look right at Javier. He's going to lick its fangs and he's going to make a bite attack against you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so let me just double check its stats plus four to hit. Uh, 13 does not hit. Okay, okay, so that's a big old. Actually, uh, one. Oh no, actually, because I just said that, that nah, won't work like that. Okay then. Wow, well, what? Well, just not get the bonus. Okay. It doesn't get pack pack picks. Ah, uh, yeah. And treat them as a single unit. Yeah, because he triggers a single unit, yeah. And then the rider on top of it is going to lower a crossbow at you. And it's going to fire. Okay. Will be with disadvantage because of the range. Uh, the neither would have. Completely misses. The rider will reload the crossbow. And then it is Javier's turn. Okay. Uh, I think Javier is going to go for another flurry of blows all on the ambush drake combo this time. Okay. So is attacking then flurry of blows. I apologize. They do have different separate health, so we'll stress. What was that say? They do have separate health bars, <gasps> just to stress. Um. Both okay. I'm treating them as kind of one unit. Okay, I think what. Would I have disadvantage on the Dragon Claw, though, if I try to attack it? Uh, yes, you would. So then you've got to kind of attack around. Probably there. going to go for the Ambush Drake first, then even... Mm -hmm. No, no, but yeah. Okay, so... An Arm Strike, 15. Does that hit? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh! Oh, yay. Heavy Arm, of course. Arm. Ah, you clever, clever girl. Okay, <laughs> so... Um, then going to do Flurry of... Blows to try 
Attack it again. So, 24. That hits. For some reason it's not doing the damage. You can do it, I believe in you. Um, I'll just clear the damage. That yeah, yeah I've, damage I'll just clear so that. Sounds... So, eight. Um, going to make it try dex check again. 12. To see if it's getting up on. Okay. As you hit the uh, amber straight right in the nose, it suddenly stumbles down back onto its, well, basically onto its belly. How... And I'm going to say that the person on top is now able to be attacked more easily because of that. Was he thrown forward, or is he kind of hanging onto the drake, just to clarify? He's hanging onto the drake. There's a saddle on the back of it that he's on. I see. Okay, so if that guy's now able to be attacked more easily, Javier will make his last strike against him. Okie dokie. Uh, that is not going to hit. Okay. Um, Obviously not. <laughs> the nat one. It is a nat one, yeah. You roll to hit. I'm going to say your aim is slightly off. You're not quite used to the angle. And as a result, you punch the crossbow and the bolt goes forward into your hand. You only take one point of damage. It just glances off your wrist. Oh god, that's, <laughs> that's kind of generous, actually. Okay, uh, that shall be the end of Javier's turn, then. Okie dokie. And now that will go to... First Dragon Claw. Uh, one of them is going to go after Tristan. Is this 30 feet? Yes, it is. So he's simply going to move up. And I believe that is all he can do. Yep, it is. And so he's going to end his turn, and now it's the second Dragon Claw. He is going to move up right in between everyone there. He's going to attack Javier. Okay. That's plus five to hit. Uh, that will hit. Actually, so let's double check one thing. He will have advantage. Pack tactics. Yes, because of pack tactics. Okay, and that is going to be a d6 plus 3. Six damage. Okay, so he is, swings his scimitar straight at you. Imagine he's cut you just on the arm. Okay, awesome. And then he's going to make his second attack. Also with advantage. 16 hit. Uh, meets a piece of Okie dokie. Yeah, should we roll that? For another 6 damage. 6 damage. Okay. It'll end his turn. That now goes to the Acolyte. The Acolyte is going to... Hmm. That's a touch, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okie dokie. He is going to risk an opportunity attack. He's going to move towards the Ambush Drake. Um... Do you have a reaction? Would, would that be Either. for me or for molasses? Either. You're both within five. Plus I mean, I would be. A, I've got my reaction. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably do the opportunity attack if you're okay with that, molasses. Oh, uh, sure. 17. I'm not even going to bother rolling the damage. He's dead. Nice. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> He's very dead. He makes it to the ambush streak. He falls down with his hand glancing over it, and he's gone. So now that is Tristan's turn. Going for the guy who tried to get me. Okie dokie. Make your turn. Uh, hits. Okay, you run straight up to him and you stop suddenly, catch him slightly off guard with his stop, then lunge forward, punch him straight in the chest, making him stagger back. And directly going in for a second strike. 
Okay, or is okay. he back? If he's move back from me, then I'll move. Uh, it's just play left. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess seconds back. Mm -hmm. Fourteen does not hit, I believe. Actually, no. It means it beats it. Sorry. My mistake. Okay. You bring up a second attack, and you punch straight back in the same point. And he staggers from this quite a bit. And you see he's hurting quite badly. But he's only just hanging in there. Yeah, but I'm out of mix, so... Okay. And now that goes to deck lot three. Um, number three is going to come around the back. He's going to go for molasses. No. Oh. Yes. Gonna make a scimitar attack. Seven world hit, I imagine. Oh. You're gonna make no a second. Oh. oh, sorry, that would have been with advantage again. Oh, okay, that hits. Oh, no, no, it's not. Sorry, he's not in five feet of his ally. Never mind. So just the second one hits. Yes. You take four damage. Ouch. And he wakes you across your arm holding the shield. Now that goes to Molasses. Alright. I uh, I had something to do, but I guess, logically speaking, I would turn to face this guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to see all these guys surrounding me and cast a uh, mirror image on myself. Okay. I'll pop it in. You probably know what it does because Sight uses it. But Makes you it harder in. to hit, basically. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, several of you appear side by side of you. When you speak, all of them speak at the same time. I'm just going to say. <laughs> We're time to even the fight. You kind of look back and forth between all of them, quite confused. Alright, uh, that's my action. I can't do anything else. Okay, okay. And now goes to the main Amber Strike. It's going to use half its movement to get up. And it's going to make a bite attack against uh, Javier again. Okay. This time with advantage. Yeah, because of Pat's tactics. Uh, to yeah, both of those would have. Okay. okay. Uh, check the damage. It is d6 plus 1. Take four damage. Okay. And then uh, the guy on top of it is going to make an attack. He's going to fire a bull. You can try it at molasses. Uh, what was it I need to roll? Was it just a flat d20 to determine? Uh, that should be so short range, so even with the pack tactics, he can't get advantage, right? Uh, you get advantage because it is 10 feet. It's only when we move 5 feet when oh, you're in a range sorry. attack. Yeah. Uh, I think if you roll your attack and it's going to hit me, I can make it deflect to someone else, potentially. No, I don't even have to wait until I hit the phoenix. Each time a creature targets you with attack during spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack mm -hmm. instead chooses one of your deep pockets. So I'll roll the hits. I imagine a 20 would have hit, so roll your d20. Yes, yes, it does hit someone else. Okie dokie, I'm gonna say the bolt goes straight through one of the clouds. And it just Rich. completely vanishes. Yeah, they only have an AC of 11, so. Yep. And with that, he rolls a crossbow. And it's going to be Javier's turn. Okay, uh, how are all of these guys looking? Like, how's the ambush straight looking at this point? Uh, the ambush drakes. A little bit hurts, but it's still in there. Okay, uh, so I think what Javier is going to do at this point, he is going to burn his last key point to do um, what was that uh, step of the wind, so he can use this to do the disengage action as his bonus action. So that means no opportunity attacks if I move out of range, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, and I think. 
Jack, um, he is going to come over. Yeah, I think he's going to come over to here to help Tristan. All right. Okay, and uh, with his remaining, with his action, he's going to do an unarmed strike. Um. Uh, you'll oh. you'll be fine. Don't worry. Javier is quite hurt. I feel like the girl in Jurassic Park. He left us. <laughs> okay, uh, yep. You come over, you make a strike, you straight to the side of the head, and he goes straight down in a clump. Uh, we should probably go and help him, molasses. It was mine. It, it's fine, I shall pay you back later. Mm. Probably. Uh, with that, Javier ends his turn. That's going to be Death Claw 1, then followed by Death Claw 2. Okie doke. And I guess who's going to get attacked? Right, so 23 would hit. Roll your oh. d20. Uh, so we've got to get 8 or higher at this point. Got a 14, so that goes for one of the clones and it will slice straight through it. <laughs> Second attack. Hey, stop the hat. 15 hits. They both hit. <laughs> Okie dokie. Roll your d20. No, that hits me. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, that's wrong damage. It's that one. You take four damage. You got lucky. For now. And now it's going to be the other Death Claw's turn. Actually, no, it's Death Claw 3, isn't it? So back. Two just died. No, oh, one just died, sorry. Okay, so it's now going to be Tristan's turn. Running up to the Emma Strike and punching him. Yeah, I know. Very creative. <laughs> <laughs> yep, run right in. 40 feet movement, so I should be able to run yep, over here. That's fine. Five. Just had a little wobble in the way. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm guessing 17? I don't uh, know. 17 does hit. Okay, 5 damage. You hit yeah, straight into close. its arm. No, uh, arm, well, leg, thigh, thing. And bonus action, another arm strike. Remember your key points. Oh, yes, right. I'm actually going to stunt them on your flows at this point. Mm -hmm. Stunt one. Make two more strikes. First one hits. Okie dokie. Second one hits. Okay, that's another 12 damage. And the Amstrig is looking very, very hurt at this point. It's holding up one of its uh, legs, limping every single time it steps on it. Its nose is bloodied. And the rider is attempting to keep it under control, but isn't having too much luck. I uh, assume you're in your turn? Yes. Alright, Death Call 3, the one behind Molasses, is going to me. He's going to actually move around, specifically to gain advantage on the attacks. I imagine 23 hits. Yes. <laughs> I've got one clone left. I have to roll 11 or higher. Fuck. Mm hmm. No. Uh, didn't you? Like 8 damage. Uh, I believe molasses took damage. Uh. Yeah. I, damage. Oh, right. For some reason, it didn't update on the overlay. I'm gonna die. Okay. How, much, how, how much damage did he just take? I'm on, I'm on 8 right now. <laughs> He's going to make his second attack um, now. When did I take damage? Oh, I think I know what's happened. I think these are the wrong way around. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's Friendly happened. Oh, you're applying it to me? <laughs> yeah, it's, I just didn't have the set of right. I'll fix it in a second. Hang on. So. That's 12 hits. Okay, thank God, no. Kidoki okay, so. swings in again and you just simply duck underneath the blow. And then it's going to be back around to Molasses. Okay, and okay. you're uh, full health. I've, uh, 
I'm feeling pretty cornered. Huh. I haven't tested this out to this power yet, but here goes. I don't want a wild shape into a giant lizard. Okie dokie. It's CR a quarter and there's no swim or flying speed, so that's allowed, yep, yes. That's fine, yep. Uh, I assume you have I... the sashi. Yeah, I, I have the monster mile in my lap. Mm -hmm. right, do you want me to try and find it and do you need anyone to give you the. I know, it's alright. Okay. Just let me know of anything, any effects, etc. that you can do. Okay. Um, I assume the concentration effects of resistance is gone. Because I'm wild shaping now. Yes. It's concentration spell. I'm assuming that's gone. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that doesn't matter. It only stays at like 18 or so. It's really high levels of your droidry event. No, okay. So you, you don't get a default you save. Um, book. Actually, no. You can still use your spell uh, concentration spells as long as they've already been cast. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, for instance, you can see the moonbeam. Uh, apologies, Molasses. What was your health again? I'm on eight. I'm on eight. Okay, I just need to take another four away. Okay, the overlay should be right now. Yes. You get to wild shape as a bonus action or a main action. Uh, it's one action for me. I think it's is it moon druids that get bonus action for that? Okay, I'll make it. Yeah, sure. moon. Okay. Okay, as you suddenly shift into this big lizard, um, the dragon club side, you just kind of stumble back briefly, and you catch the attention of the ambush drake. I guess that's how big I am right now, because it's a large creature. Yep. T-Rex on T-Rex, I'm going to face down the lizard. Okay, okay. Any kind of uh, action. Bug, do you need me to give you the HP as, like, temporary HP, or no? Um, Javier's currently on 10 hit points. No, so, no I mean, for, your, for the thing on overlay. Oh, yeah, for the thing on... HP. Uh, what are so you doing, Sai? Of wild shaped, do you want its HP? Um, yeah, I'll probably just put the HP on it, so yeah, just uh, give that to me, please. Okay, it's uh, 19. 19? 19 okay, what moments? I should just put it on for you. Oh, uh, that's I'm going to turn then. Uh, yes. Yep, there you go. Okay, the ambush drake is going to stomp forward onto its brethren. He's going to bat into the side, and he's going to fall prone underneath the dragon claw's leg. And it's going to make a bite attack against you. I'm assuming a 10. I should pull a 10. No. Uh, 12 armor class. Okie dokie. It tries to bite at you and you just simply pull your head back. Uh, the rider is trying to keep it under control. Uh, but then he looks at uh, you and he's going to fire his crossbolt. He's going to do it just standard, given he would have advantage. He got an at 20. Cool. <laughs> Um, I didn't actually find damage for that, did I? Alright, it's going to be a d8 plus 2. Plus an extra d8. Okay, you take 15 points of damage. Oh god. <laughs> this is going well. And that is going to end his turn. Now, Javier. Uh, Javier, probably a big mistake here. Javier should go and fix. Uh, Javier is just going to go back up to the top here. Okay. And he's going to make uh, two attacks. Okie dokie. Ten does not hit. Not hit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna die. You're kind of spooked by the fact that your friend just turned to a lizard suddenly. Yeah, holding back a little bit. Okay. Uh, and yeah, your turn? Uh, yep. Hey, Deathclaw 2 is currently pinned on the ground underneath the ambush drake. He can't do anything. Now Tristan's turn. Turning with the drake and then again going at it. I've been looking on the sign, by the way. Be over in a moment. One way or another. That misses. I'm going to spend another key point to do your. Yep. Blows thingy. <laughs> First one hits. Eight damage. You hit straight into the ambush drake and 
it simply collapses underneath from the blow, its legs completely giving out, and the drake itself is dead, but the rider is still alive. Can I do the last one against the rider? Uh, you can, yes. And I'm going to say the weight lands on top of the death claw, the dragon claw, sorry, and crushes him. And doesn't hit, sadly. Actually, I'll give you advantage on it, given uh, the sudden dr uh, death of the drake. That is a shame. <laughs> there I was being kind. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think it just it was what it was supposed Do, to be. Did you it mean to cross out? Oh, sorry. And now it is uh, Dragon Claw 3's turn. Uh, it's just in the Drake go down, it's seen in Crush's friend. He is going to attempt to. He's just going to make an attempt to run. Which um, Javier would like an opportunity attack. Nothing. Do I also get one, or...? You can if you want, yes. Yep. I absolutely do. I'm going to do something good. 25. Okay, Javier hits. Okay, you hit him straight in the shoulder. I'm going to say you knock him off balance, and Molasses will have advantage on his attack. Okay, you hit. Is it just a general bite? Is it...? Uh, yeah, it's a bite attack. It's 1d8 plus 2 damage. Okie dokie. Alright. Um, you chomp straight into him and you pick him up in your mouth and fling him around. He's dead. Is uh, is everyone dead or is... Uh... Uh, no, the rider, the amber streak is still oh. alive. I was going to say, I think you crossed out the rider but not the drake. Nope, that was just no, a dragon that claw. Was... The, the other guy, the Drake, stumped up one of his people. The Drake helped us, actually. He killed one of his own guys. Ah, I see. Okay, and that will go around to Molasses. Uh, I'm just going to stomp over this wreckage and bite the guy on the who's on the Drake. Okay, dokie. I'll give any sitting on the Drake still. I'll say you have an advantage on the attack. Ooh. We should have given Tristan advantage as well, actually. No, I did give you advantage, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, hey, I hit him. You give a big whiff. But you just kind of spins form. back in his seat. And now it's going to be the rider's turn. He's going to stand up on top of the drake, and he's going to know what he's beat. He's going to throw down his crossbow. Hey, I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up. Uh, That's it... the end of his turn. It's Javier that follows him, so. Um, I think Javier is just going to walk up to this guy. And is he thrown down his weapon, did you say? Yes, he's got his hands in the air. Javier just wants to knock him out, not to kill him. I'd say make an arm strike and beat anything over 10. Yep. You simply hit him straight in the back of the head and he collapses. Yeah. <sighs> And with that, we will end the yeah, session. Yeah, we'll end the session because we'll be over time. Yeah. Be going, sadly. yeah, sorry, it was a bit over. Yeah, okay. I have to leave for work in like 20 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll pick this up next time then, I assume, Doom? Uh, we'll do a little roundup of the very end of this, yes, next time. Okay, cool. Start the stream. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching and uh, we need to just end off swiftly so Alf can go to work. So we shall speak to you next time. Thanks. Have a good one.